<sighs> Alright people, welcome back. Kinda of tired, but I'm I'm tired yet I'm bored. Yeah. You know? I I pretty much just watched all my YouTube videos. I'm not really watching a new anime. I'm pretty much caught up all the way up with Prince of Tennis, so I was like bored and I was like I'm tired, but I'm bored. So you know what? Let me go ahead and just record. Let me just get this out of the way while I'm bored, because you know, when I'm not bored and I'm doing something, then I won't want to record and uh, you know what? Just fuck it, let's go. So I'm I'm just kinda of tired. Anyway, welcome back. Daily Duels, Tuesday. And that means that we're using Plaguelicious U Bell. Plaguelicious U Bell sounds like I'm talking about Plague Spider being delicious. Yeah. If you straight up didn't know that this deck had anything to do with Maui, you would you would hear you would hear, hear Plague, and then instead of malicious, you'd probably hear delicious. And I mean look 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 I mean look at him. Doesn't he look so sexy? You know, he looks so sexy. He's not plug spreader. He's leg spreader. But his sexy ass. <laughs> Alright, I need to stop. Uh, well, I mean, that sounds okay. Yeah, I have to say it's okay. You know, I got Harris and I got Debris Dragon. It's not terrible. Grumpy Bell. Hope he blind spaces me so I can do that. If not, then I'll probably just use Harris. Anyway, what was I talking about oh Plaguelicious this got the name chain no it used to be called Yabel Destiny you, I mean if you look at the thumbnail and instead of making a whole new thumbnail I thought it was cute to just cross it out uh, there's a couple reasons why of course one being that uh, uh, I mean it's really not a Destiny hero deck besides Malicious oh okay Burden of the Mighty also known as Burden in the Buttholes wow and he's gonna grab a Wetlands Okay. And he's not even gonna play his freaking hill spell that he has grabbed. I mean, or play any monsters. That's fine. That's fine. You know, I mean, you say good luck, have fun, and there's, there's, there's a line, you know? It's good luck, have fun, let's, you know, do our best. You know, and then it's good luck, have fun, and clearly I'm not doing my best. You know, I'm just gonna summon the. You know, I'm just gonna summon Harris. Harris attacks you for what, 700? Okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, it used to run, you know, Destiny Draw Defenders and stuff like that, but nope, 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 it's just Maui, so how is that a Destiny Hero deck when it's just fucking Maui? Like, hello? Ah. Uh, opponent's not really doing anything. Alright. You got another one? I really wish my opponent would duel me. 700 and then what? 1,000. Or weak little arm again at night. I'll set the MST. Oh, let's see if I can get cute. Let's see if I'll summon a monster. I try to attack him. Wow. Alright, he can just play fucking cage. You know what? Oh, MST it. Glad I put MST in here. You know, since that one duel with that whole Snatch Steel Vanity thing, MST has been in his deck. And I don't want to lose a duel like that. Like that shit. Piss me off. <sighs> Are you using some kind of weird Exodia deck? Like, so it's Scarecrow, Burn the Mighty and shit, and, I mean, Nightmare Still Cage and shit, like, are you using, are you trying to stall? Like, good luck, have fun, and you've done absolutely nothing. Like, what's going on here, man? Like, if, 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 if you want to duel. I don't know. Oh, there's another MST. I'll just attack, and if I run into any problems, I can cast down in, like, main phase two. What does he do? Oh, okay. Interesting. I, I really feel like you're using Exodia back. You, you're not doing much, man. No. Oh, come on. I'm not really doing much. I'm sitting here poking and beating the shitty with a thousand attack on me. And, uh, uh, come on. Okay. Okay. So you get some token. Ooh. Oh shit, motherfucker. Just keep poking. Fuck it. 
My opponent's using some kind of weird Exodia deck. Fuck it, let him. Go ahead and get your token. I don't give a shit. Wow. Well, I definitely know what I'll be MS team today. It's a strong ass fucking token. Holy shit. Against 500 attack for yourself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Holy shit. I still lose because of fucking marshlands, but because I'm only at a thousand. Or well, you're at what, 1300? No, all level two are in this game. 12, 12, 17 then. Yeah, holy shit. Then I lose 700. Didn't see that coming. So there is a method to the madness with the freaking wasteland, with the marshlands. There is a method to his madness! Um. I forgot what deck I was using. <laughs> like, literally, the duel has just been so fucking just slow and uninteresting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing this. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm probably going to Black Rose. Probably. You know? I'm just going to say, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Was that set before? Or did he just set that? No, no, no. Okay. I have lots of revival in this deck. Lots of revival in pretty much all of you, about that, because actually, you know, I don't even think I leave the I leave the house without my triple, my reverse triple, uh, call the haunted and triple oasis. So, all right, yep, I'm just gonna fucking black rose my opponent, cause fuck them. Yep, it's good. Yeah, I'll summon you. Uh, can't put some summons over dragon, can't be level 4. Okay, well, Black Rose is also a dragon, right? Black Rose is a dragon, yes, and it's not. And this is not 4, so. That's fine. So, summon the breeze. And I say, fuck you. What? I should swipe everything. You little token. Pumping factory is cute and all, but how about we just get that shit out of here? I'm fine. I'm totally cool with destroying my own shit. I want fun resources. There is nothing wrong with destroying my own shit. Oh. And I'll just set the call to haunted. Go ahead. Your play was cute. But I fuck you up, bitch. Of course. <laughs> um, I can end this duel. Yeah, I can end this duel. Yeah. Yeah. I said this last turn, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh. Unless he has another freaking Swift Scarecrow. I didn't get Harris effect because I synchro with her. Huh. Yep. So it wasn't said to get rid of my card effect. So no fairy no nefarious archery nefariousness for me. No no no, not today. Well, we'll probably get another duel in after this because we totally have time. For one more. One more. One more do. Alright, there's Bills, then I go Plague Effect first. Uh, no, I summoned it, I summoned it through, oh my god, through Call, not its effect. Now, Plague Effect. Now, Effect. Now, what's the, what's the other reason why I changed? Oh, Kakashi Kyle. Kakashi Kyle. You know what? I'm so fucking retarded.
I, you know, I just did first part. I reviewed the deck, and you know, when the thought went through my mind, I'm like, of course, the deck is gonna try to make me freaking draw terror. Like, I already drew it. Yep. Sink eight. Grave and banish. Or, I don't know. No one uses it. That, that, I mean, that's pretty much it, you know. I was surprised when I first saw it. I was like, oh, wow, ooh, wee, that's, uh, that's something. I'll go for Scrap Dragon, just in case you need to pop anything. The, the Call of the Hunt is not attached to anything, so. But I got Beals, so. Go ahead and start Scarecrow me or something like that. All right. Well, that was easy. I mean, I'll leave it to you. You want a rematch? I'll give you a rematch. You want a rematch? Sure. Alright, go right back. Alright. Alright. I want to see. I, I, the reason why I took the rematch is because I want to see more of his deck. Deck. That's my nightmare. Oh, you know what? Because we got we got the savior here. <laughs> this guy. He he is. I love this card. Gold sock. Alright. So what are you searching for, sir? In two turns. You want your breeding machine? He's like, I need my breeds. That wetlands part of the monster is a lot. Holy shit, 1200? Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright. Let's boo this. Speaking of booze, they lost against Team Cold. Yep. I mean, Team Frieza. Team Frieza. Cause that's literally all that team is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get mad and rant because, fucking bullshit. But. Effect, pitch. Some plague. All right. So those two are already rare to go. Normal summon. Effect. We'll go ahead and drop you bell because I have a normal summon this turn. Once again, Dark Griffer is a savior. Go ahead and have Dark Griffer attack. What does that say? Okay. I don't have him getting that attack. Go over to these two into King of the Feral Limps. It will then get his effect to get me a mass carrion. It's not much I can it's not much I can do with him right now. That's it. Okay, I was like, did I detach the Armageddon Knight? I wanted to detach the Armageddon Knight. Set two, and packs. Seriously, Kakashi Kyle. That man, he shows up and then he like disappears all the damn time. Um, Unless you have some Swiss Curve Crows or some Battle Faders, I think I just won this duel. I can literally just go activate, summon, Mali, Spanish summon, do that play, go for a Scrap Dragon. I can go for a Scrap Dragon and a Beals right now. I'm starting to think whether, you know what, yeah, I'm using this effect. Because I was thinking about going for the Widow Group, but I'm going for the Beals Scrap Dragon play right now, so. So, I think I won this duel, unless he, well, I mean, I know he runs so Scarecrows, so we know that's a thing, but holy crap, like, Dark Greffer putting so much fucking work like he's just like I got you man I fucking got you like dude what are you, what are you talking about I'm gonna revive with Call the Haunted because if I revive with Oasis then when we Synchro Summon uh, the Oasis will go away and I really don't want my opponents in here arguing with me over the Beal Scrap effect that's one of the things that I do not like about that combo is that people always argue about it um I'd rather draw the Mask Chameleon you know? yeah so I'll go Mally first He's right there. Like effect. I don't mind drawing another. I don't. I don't mind drawing mass killing again. Shit hits the fan. The mass killing's the man. I said it, it wasn't supposed to rhyme because I mean he's a reptile and he's not. He's not really a man at all. But you know.
Is that game? If I get if all these three attacks go through, then yeah, that's a game. But like I say, he's, he runs so scarecrow. So is that game? I was fucking quick. Whew. Damn. I'm just like get the fuck out of here. Play Blizzard Sea Bell. So I can hold on, hold on, let me teabag you real quick. <laughs> one more? <laughs> we, I got time for one more. Okay. Alright. Oh. Yeah, he's like, I never got the cards I need. Like, hey. Alright, we'll do hopefully one real quick duel, whether I win or lose, because. I mean, you know what? No. This video is 15 minutes. That's long enough. I kicked the living shit out of him. Plug Wishes Bell is strong, nice and meaty. No. What's talking about? Oh, Kakashi Gao. You know, that man. That man. He shows up and then he disappears. And then he shows up and he disappears. Like, you know, you know he has a series called Promise to Yubel. You know, and, yeah. You know, I, I'm shit. I promise that I will use Yubel every day. You know, what do you promise, Kakashi Gao? I, I, I guess I promise to use Yubel once a year, you know? I mean, I get you're not into Yu-Gi-Oh, but, you know, I'm just like, you have way more subscribers than me. More than two times my subscribers, but I put in way more work than him, you know. But, I'm, I don't know. When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh, I wonder, really, who's the more famous person. Because I know there's some people who say, you know, Kakashi Kyle, Kakashi Kyle, Kakashi Kyle. yu gi actually doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Mostly because my Yu-Gi-Oh decks aren't competitive, you know. They're mostly for fun, you know. And you look at Kakashi Kyle's deck, you'll see the background, you'll see, you know, everything, you know. You'll, you, it looks like, a, you know, an actual deck that you would see in a tournament. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, putting all the revival, get off on my plays, have fun, try to do my combos, you know. That's what we come here for, you know. You know I'm, I'm not a big fan of back row, so most people, you know, discredit me because I don't run back row in my Ubel decks. But, you know, I think I'm, I'm you know. I didn't name myself Yubel Mastery because I think I'm the, you know, the master you build, you know, I'm the call it Yubel Mastery because you, ma it's a mastery of Yubel, you slowly get better with Yubel, you create better combos, different decks with Yubel, that's the, pretty much the gist of the channel. And I said, I explained this, I made the channel, I actually made my channel to not be, I didn't make a channel to be YouTuber, I did not, I made my channel so I would YouTube search people's Yubel decks and then I would give them hints and tips on their deck and be like, hey, you should try this, hey, you should do that, hey, you should try this, hey, you should do that. It's the, that's the way I found uh, Kakashi Kyle to do that. And, um, except that was back when he was on his uh, Resident Evil channel, you know, before he made Kakashi Kyle. Then he made Kakashi Kyle and then he zoomed past me with subscribers because he got a freaking uh, guest upload and shout out from, uh, I think it was MCO40, I think. Was it MCO40? I think it was MCO40. Eh. Yeah, but I, I, and I was like, you know what? You know, I'm, 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 I am offering us these suggestions to people for your bell decks. They're like, let me, you know what? Let me go ahead and record a video. Well, well, of course, my friend Chris is like, you should do, you know, YouTube videos. And I was like, nah, nah, nah. But then I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and record me and show people what I'm doing. You know? And then that's how pretty much Vitamin Y started. And, you know, we're building on it since. We're going on a, uh, three year anniversary this upcoming June. June. I'll be turning twenty one and uh upcoming anniversary. Yeah, I started right after my eighteenth birthday, so twenty one. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it up so there you go. You got got some freaking history in this video. So now it's long enough. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with you Alright guys, thanks for watching.